Welcome to Battle Network Academy. In this video, I'll be going over the barrier chips. Barriers are defensive chips that protect Mega Man from incoming attacks. Taking a hit from a wind element chip will remove the barrier completely. Additionally, being caught in wind gusts caused by wind rack, fan, or the wind chip will remove your barrier as well. Starting off with the standard barrier, these three chips act as a temporary health pool that protects Mega Man from attacks. With the exception of the Gundel Soul chip series, those chips are capable of piercing barriers. Standard barriers don't expire, so the only way to get rid of one is to either hit it with a wind attack or remove it with damage. While you have a barrier up, it gives you status guard, protecting you from gaining effects like stunned, paralysis, blind, and confusion. It will not, however, remove these effects if you already have them. Barriers act a little weird when Mega Man's in the flashing state. If you use an invis or put up a barrier while you're in the flashing state, when getting hit by chip attacks like cannon or corn shot, the attack will deal zero damage to the barrier. But getting hit by lingering attacks, like Electross's Thunderbolt or the Doll Thunder chip series, will remove the barrier completely even if your barrier has enough HP to take the hit. Also, while you're in the flashing state, Buster Shots and Beast Buster Shots will hit twice. The next type of barrier is Bubble Wrap. Bubble Wrap is a single HP barrier that regenerates every 238 frames, or about every 4 seconds. While Bubble Wrap is active, Mega Man's element changes to Aqua, no matter what his cross element is. So taking damage from any elect attack will deal times 2 damage. Taking a hit from an elect attack will also stop Bubble Wrap from regenerating. And if you're in Aqua Cross at the same time as having a Bubble Wrap active, and you take a hit from an elect attack, God help you. Bubble Wrap will continue to regenerate throughout a match unless it's hit by an elect attack or is blown away by a wind attack. And the last barrier type is Life Aura. Ah! Thank you, the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't spread over every day. Life Aura requires your opponent to deal 200 damage or more in one hit to remove it. The Gust effect from Windrack and the other wind chips still applies, which is why Windrack is a very common chip to play in competitive folders. Chips that deal multiple hits, like Colonel Force or Meteor Knuckle, while capable of dealing 200 damage, deal it in multiple hits, so they'll be incapable of clearing Life Aura without boosts. Life Aura lasts for 3,000 frames, or 50 seconds, which doesn't sound like much, but a match can be decided in less than 10 seconds if you're not careful, so always bring your wind rack. And that covers the core defensive chips. There's still a couple others that could be classified as defensive chips, but I'll save those for later. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.